Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today, I am bringing you a trailer. This is a customer ordered trailer. So it's a 2023 Cimarron North Star 2 plus one. Um, we got some cool added features that we did to this one. So we'll go through them and show you and everything. But we'll get started right up front. So we've got our adjustable coupler. So this moves up and down and that gives us a, you know, capabilities of making sure you're riding as level as possible depending on the tow vehicle. And then you've got your safety chains, your battery breakaway. Um, up here we've got our plug-in for the lights and everything. Right here you're gonna see this is gonna be your, for your hydraulic jack. So it goes up and down, super smooth, way easier than sitting there cranking it. So having that, you know, comes in handy big time. Right in here, the battery box. This trailer is equipped with air ride suspension. So we've got our air ride compressor right here and how you turn it on um, and flip it over to the lower or the raised position. And then our battery and the battery cutoff switch in there. So hydraulic jack, and then over on the side, you've got your full size spare. So we'll come over here to the front. We've got our front tack room. On this tack room, we've got the, the tack door. We've got a window and then the brush box down below. And then we went ahead and upgraded and had the step put on this. And that way you're not having to climb up and over and in. Um, you just get, you know, a little more clearance getting up into the tack room. But coming up here in the tack room right away, you will see your saddle rack with your blanket bars. So those are adjustable and movable, removable. So you can, you know, do this however you want and make it most applicable to your liking. And then right here, we've got our boot box. So that opens up. You got some storage space inside. Doubles as a bench. And then you can also triple it as a step to get up into your gooseneck area. So up there in the gooseneck area, you just have some extra storage space. Or if you need to throw a mattress up there in a pinch, there's plenty of space. You got the windows on both sides. You can get some airflow going through the trailer. So over here, we have the walkthrough door going into the stall area, which this walkthrough door comes in handy big time, especially for you folks that use this front stall as more of a um, storage stall and that way you're able to just walk right through from the tack room into here and not have to go outside of the trailer and spin around. And then over on this wall you'll see the bridle hooks with the carpet behind so there's two rows of them. Having that carpet behind is just going to help prevent some of that switch swishing and swaying that the bridles will do while you're in transport. Help keep the trailer in good condition and then help keep your bridles in good condition as well. And then above the door, you will see an LED light. And then just to the left of the door, we got a 48 gallon water tank. And then we'll come in here and I'll show you how this all works inside the in interior of the stall area. So two plus one, you've got your straight load set up. And then over here, you've got the capability of closing these two and making this into a box stall. Nice thing too, I'll show you when we go back here a little more, this center divider, it does move over to the edge of the wall and out of the way and that way you could have two box stalls if you wanted to. So really versatile use that, oh, that you can do on this trailer just with having all these features on them. So over here, We've got our um, feed bags, sorry, and then the padded chest bar, padded butt bar. So on this one, we've just got the airflow head gate right here. And then I'm gonna take this down and I will show you how this divider moves over to the side. So and on this divider, we've got the pad on the middle of it as well. So on each side, so that way your horse be riding in comfort. And then those of you with your lighter colored horses, your Palominos, grays, paints, horses like that, when they get to rubbing against aluminum, you get those little stain marks on them. So having the pads is gonna help prevent some of that from happening as well. 
So I'll show you how this works. Whoa. So this is a full size divider, divider too. So it comes all the way down to the floor and that way horses aren't gonna be stepping on each other while you're driving and gonna be out of the way. So I'm gonna set this down real quick. So this, when I say it's movable and slides over to the side, you take all of these down because we're on a little bit of a slant right now, that's gonna automatically go that way. But you grab these pegs, there's two on the front side and then two on the back side. You'll notice how it started sliding already because we are on a track up above and that track allows us to do this and get this pushed over to the side and popped into place. And then you have that capability of having the two box stalls without having to take the divider out completely. And in doing so, you know, this divider, it is pretty heavy by itself. And so you don't have to have an additional person with you to help you get that divider out. Instead, it's very versatile if you're at one, you know, you go to one show and you're only bringing two horses back instead of three and you want them to have a box stall each, push that over to the side and it's out of the way. And that way you've got that open space of having the box stall for the horse if you need to. So that's how that pushes over to the side and then same way coming back, you just unlatch it and then it latches on the floor and on the roof of the trailer. So and up above the head side, we've got two air vents up here. So those push forward and they push backwards. So pushing them forward, gonna help draw that air down and in, push them backwards, help draw that air back out and keep that consistent airflow going over the heads and backs of the horses. And then we do have two additional ones up in that box stall area too. So you'll notice we've got a drop down on each head side. So get your extra airflow going through, make it a little more open for the horses, you know, help them be comfortable in the trailer. And then we also did fans. So having these fans up on the head side, keep the airflow moving for the horses and make sure they're staying as cool as possible. So in Cimarron trailers, they are an all aluminum trailer. You got one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market with the center every four inches. So it tongue and grooves together. And then you also have this insulated roof and it's pretty toasty out already this morning and having this insulated roof and being in here in the shade and that breeze coming through the trailer a little bit, it's keeping it cooled off in here. So it's a half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. And then that's got an R3 thermal value on it. So like I just said, with the heat, it's going to help get that heat away a little bit. And then in the winter, it's going to help keep it a little bit warmer inside. So more heat regulating. And then on the plus side, it's also dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. So I know for us down here on the front range, that's a big one because you never know what year we're going to have hail season. So it helps out big time. And then you'll see LED light up above. Got a couple LED lights in here. And then coming from the back, we've got the ramp off the back. And you saw that ramp off the side on the, on the front. So in having that, you can walk horses straight on and then walk them straight off the trailer. So being able to do that, if you've got one that's a little more weary about backing out of a trailer, being able to just walk them in and out, just keeps the ease of mind on the horse and keeps them in good condition and everything. And then on the plus side, if you wanted to haul two horses and then a little buggy up front, you've got that ramp already there and you'd be able to load up easily. So on the rear here, I'm going to shut this up real quick and show you a nice feature that I like about having this, this ramp with the Dutch doors up above. So you get this ramp latched on and you can leave those Dutch doors latched around on both sides and keep that lot of airflow going through the trailer. So that whole back end is open up top and keep that airflow. We've got backup lights on this one. We upgraded to those. So every time you put the trailer in reverse, it's going to illuminate and that way people behind you know that you're backing up. And then, like I said earlier, we do have that air ride suspension. So having that air ride right now, I've got it aired up. So you can see how high off the ground the trailer is. If I were to lower that air ride, 
it would dump the air out of the bags, the back of the trailer is going to come down a little and not make that incline as steep for the horses to get on and just, you know, help them out big time, getting in and out with comfort. So like I said, from the inside, we've got this drop down window. So that comes down and then you have your jail bars as well. And those jail bars come down really easily. And that way, if you wanted to just toss some hay in there, check on horses, you know, you can come up here and that is right where your feed bag is gonna be. And you can make sure they're good to go, toss them some extra hay, give them some water off for water, and then just slide that back up. This pops into place. I don't know if you kind of heard that little click, but it pops into place and that's going to help keep it from slapping against the trailer while you are in transport. So we've got our 7,000 pound Dexter Air Ride axles. Oh, there's a pigeon. Um, <laughs> this trailer we are sitting at 610 wide. And then we're sitting at 7'7 seven, seven tall. On the floor length is going to be 24 feet, six inches. And then those stall lengths, I did want to mention those stall lengths in the back for the straight load area, those are 82 inches from hip to chest. So that's not including the head space for the horse. So that's just from chest to hip going all the way back. You do have on this one, we do have the escape door. Sorry, walking by it, walk right by it. Um, escape door going into that front stall. So having that escape door, if you do use that front stall for more storage space and stuff like that, you're able to access it without having to put that front ramp down. Or if you want to go in here, check on horses, it's a lot easier than getting the ramp down and out of the way and everything. LED light up above. Lights just come in handy big time when you're traveling and it's dark out and you want to get stuff done. Having the lights just come in handy. So this is a 2023 Cimarron North Star 2 plus 1 air ride suspension. We got a stock number of 5N 220571 and that's 5N 220571. So if you're in the market for one of these trailers, I know we've got a few more on order coming in. Uh, we also have a lot of inventory on order. We've got some inventory here on our lot too. So if you're browsing our website and you see a drawing of something, that's something that we've got coming in on order. So if you want to see when we should be seeing it, don't hesitate to reach out. If you click the link below, you'll go to this inventory item on our website, and then you can also browse our new and used inventory there. But if you have any questions or anything, you can call or text me at my cell phone, and that's 970-218-5996. You can call me at my desk phone, and that's 303-684. 3451 or shoot me an email at morgan and that's m-o-r-g-a-n dot null k-n-o-l-l -L, at transwest.com i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day